Imagine you were the ugly duckling your entire life. Every guy that you liked never really liked you back, but then over the summer, for some reason or another, puberty hits you like a freight train. You end up taking advice from some of your friends and you have this incredible glow up when you come back from the summer. You notice when you get back that everybody's treating you a bit differently and you don't really know how to take it, but you get an opportunity as someone who's never been bad before to do everything you feel like you've missed out on. This is prom night. This is gloom. Boom! She's about to make a little appearance. This is the story of one of the weirdest, most epic, romantic, disastrous nights of my life. For someone who's never broken a single rule in my entire life, not for not wanting to, but because I never really had the opportunity. I've done a lot of crazy things in the past 12 hours. Oh my goodness. I'm body surfing with my little redhead friend. Everybody run, the cops are here! I made some little connections for the first time and a few mistakes I probably shouldn't have. I'm impressionable, okay? Almost got into a fight, did some dancing, met a guy with a black horse, got threatened for my life. You five seconds to hand over that money or you'll never see your friends again. Oh girl. Gloom, this is a bad time to ask which one of us you meant when you said I love you. Oh, okay, this is a little bit serious right now. Because I swear you were making eye contact with me. Shut up, Tyler, now is not the time. I'm getting ahead of myself. It all started a few weeks ago. The week everyone got glammed up. You know, you just want to be asked so, so badly to the dance. Nobody's ever asked you before. Everybody else is getting asked out and you're just there like, ugh, I've played by the rules my entire life. Would today finally be my lucky day? I mean, first of all, girl, let's change your hair a little bit. There we go. We had a little glow up over the summer. Don't mind me. I've made a bucket list because I've missed out on so much and there's so much I wanna do. You're about to meet two boys who will change your life forever. The first is this mysterious new boy and the second is your brilliant equal who actually respects you. Although you're kind of mad that he never paid attention to you before. So we have a choice between two different outfit batches. There's this one. I mean, that looks good. That looks like something I would wear. I would definitely wear that. I would definitely wear that. And I would definitely wear that. I want to be asked out today, okay? So I'm wearing the nicest outfit I have. I saved up all my pennies in my piggy bank for this. Here I am, I'm rolling in. I'm trying to get noticed. Whoa, look at her. Oh, <laughs> check out Gloom Boom. Yeah, you know, I just, it's been a long summer. She looks beautiful. I wonder if she's had a date yet. Maybe we'll find out. What? You already asked me! Oh, girl, I don't want to make, okay, I don't want to make any enemies. This is like the drama that I'm not ready for, but everybody loves my style. And these are the two that I'm interested in. I'm a little bit apprehensive because they never paid attention to me before, but there's so much I've missed out on. I used to think I had a perfect life. The perfect popular friends. Strike a pose, y'all. How should I pose? Well, I like to be cute. No, I like to be funny. Ha! <laughs> Well, I mean, that's not very funny, but whatever. The perfect senior year. And I was valedictorian. We've raised enough money for your class trip to Myrtle Beach. Thank you. You're welcome, everybody. And two perfect potential suitors. First up is Cameron Thorpe. The Harvard-bound hottie next door I've crushed on for years. He's going to Harvard though, so this is definitely gonna be like short-lived. Oh, I can't stop staring at his butt. Stop staring at his butt! I can either stop staring at his butt or keep staring at his butt. You know what? He's going to Harvard. I'm gonna keep staring at his butt. He's never gonna see me again. Whoa! Oh, now if only my flirting skills were as perfect as my GPA. Hey, are you okay? As far as wipeouts go, that was pretty epic. We've competed in every AP class and club for years, but I've never told him how I feel. I, uh, uh, I meant to do that. No, no, uh, I got distracted by you. I could use some TLC. Even though I'm evoking a different reaction from my environment, I still don't fully believe it myself. So the TLC thing is a little bit forward. I'm gonna say I, I meant to do that. I, I meant to fall over. <laughs> You meant to fall down and almost give yourself a concussion? That's what I said, isn't it? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Still the same adorkable gloom I've known since kindergarten. <laughs> Congrats on being valedictorian, by the way. Have you decided which college you're going to? Oh girl, I could say I'm going to Harvard too. I'm going to NYU or I'm going to art school in Paris. I wanna go to NYU. I've always wanted to go to the big city and like get out of here. I'm going to NYU, I'm sorry. This is only gonna be a little fling. And just because you're paying attention to me right now doesn't mean that I'm gonna base my entire future around you. Well, I'll miss ya. If I'm gonna be number two in our class, I'm glad it's to you. Oh, thanks, Cam. I'm glad to be on top of you too. Wait. Oops. Uh, 
That sounded totally inappropriate in my head. Uh, why am I still talking? I gotta say, you looked really amazing when you walked in this morning in that new outfit. Find me in the library after class. There's something I want to show you. Oh, by all means. I gotta warn you, I baked these myself last night. So I'm really hoping it's the thought that counts and not the half cup of sugar I forgot. Gloom Boom, will you go to prom with me? Look, I don't normally do dances, but I really like hanging out with you. I'm number two. He was the new guy at school with a mysterious past. He's really, really cute, but he's... I think he might be a little too bad for me. Admit it, you'd have failed out of this year if it wasn't for my amazing tutoring. I admit you look insanely hot today. Ew, you're scaring me. So I say we turn this prom upside down and show everyone how it's done. First, I wanna know, boxers or briefs? How many girlfriends have you had? Okay, I, this is all new to me, okay? This isn't usually an appropriate question to ask, but like, I'm new here, so. How many girlfriends have you had? Uh, I've had my fair share of dates, but serious girlfriends? Honestly, none. Really? I've moved around so much, I've never had a chance. But maybe my luck's about to change. I don't know if I believe you. These boys have secrets and surprises that'll change the course of my night. But personally, I think that Tyler is better looking, but Cameron is more my speed right now, and I kind of just want to go with my gut. Yes, of course I'll go to prom with you. I mean, that's one thing off my checklist, but I still haven't had my first kiss. So how do you go from this moment of pure triumph to this hot mess? Oh my goodness, what the heck is going to happen tonight? And this out of context meltdown. Well, like most impending storms, this one started with calm, too calm. I had that feeling of impending doom, but everything I learned about Cameron felt like opening presents. Okay, feast your eyes and imagine me in this. Like, right? Wouldn't that be the perfect dress? Wow, you'd look amazing in that dress. Thanks! Wearing one of Rosie Q's designs has been on my bucket list forever. I really want to get this bucket list done. Bucket list? Is that some kind of chastity pledge? <laughs> no, it's a highly organized list of everything I want to do. Well, that sounds a little scandalous. Can I see it? Well, it's a work in progress. I want to keep it private. It's really private. I, I haven't really opened up yet. Okay, then let me guess. Acing your finals, getting yearbook signatures, and a heartfelt graduation speech? Oh my goodness, he knows me too well. Because I already knew you'd be adorably lame and tame. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to break out of that mold. It just takes me some time. My point is, a list like this should speak to your heart's deepest desires. The things you really want. Crazy life experiences. Endless possibilities. Girl, I think we should get into some drama tonight. If it was me, I'd drop out of Harvard, screw my parents' expectations, and figure out what I really want. Really? That's unlike you. Why? Oh, that's a story for another time. Look, I'm gonna help you create a new list, so tell me. What do you really want to do before everything ends? I mean, a first kiss on midnight would be really nice. Write down three things to do on prom night. You don't have to tell me, it's only for you. Okay. You know what, he's helping me come out of my shell. Dazzling the crowd as the best dressed couple or owning the night as prom, you know what? I'm gonna go big. I want to be prom queen. My second goal to skinny dip with my crush or throw an epic after party. I can't see myself skinny dipping. It, it's something that I've never done. And I think for that reason, it should be on my list. Skinny dipping with my crush. And one more goal, an epic prank or making love. Oh, I'm gonna make love! Done, nice. I can't wait to help you complete it wherever the night takes us. Oh, uh, ooh, okay, I forgot. Okay, writing it down was like really fun because everything I imagined about it was perfect, but I don't know if it's gonna be perfect. And Cameron's a big part of this list. I remember that moment feeling so surreal, like I was on the verge of getting everything I wanted. Oh, I'm dreaming about it. Little did I know, someone was watching me. Someone who had big plans for me on prom night. Somebody I think saw my glow up and tried to make plans for me. At last, the big night finally arrived to change everyone's lives forever. Look at all the girls getting ready. And there's my mom. Oh my God, you look perfect. Oh, you gorgeous. Oh, you look like a classy little woman. Not only do you look positively radiant, but with that hem length and my homemade healing crystals, your aura is going to be so pure all night, just like on my prom night. Um, hold that thought. Cam, SOS emergency. I know this is super last minute, but I don't know what else to do. I think these healing crystals are making me a little bit lightheaded. Well, I think you're a cutie either way, but I got you covered. I want this night to be just like you dreamed. So I pulled a favor from one of our school's most famous alums. He must really like you. Oh my God, it's you? Hi. Glow meet Rosie Q, owner of La Boutique and your personal stylist for prom night. Holy smokes, I follow all of your designs on Instapic. I mean, I really like this dress, but I feel like this dress is the old me. Thanks, Glow. You're gonna look even more unique and gorgeous after I'm done with you. Are you ready for a full hair and designer dress makeover? Uh, yes. I'm so excited. Wow. <gasps> it's everything I dreamed of. Oh girl, I don't know which hairstyle to pick. I don't know what dress to pick. Okay, no, 
We're not gonna be Kylie for this night. A makeover is just what I needed. And you look incredible. Ready to get started? Yes, I'm gonna do it. Let's do this. I'm gonna wear a dark red lip. I've never done that before. Look how good I look! Oh, I look so cute. I've never felt this good before. At the same time though, this red one is really out of my comfort zone. It's so bad, like I look like a little baddie. I think I'm gonna do it. I think instead of blue, I'm gonna go with like the low plunging neckline, the chokers. It just feels so edgy. It's so different than what I walked in here in. Ready to eat your heart out? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Whoa! Wow, you look amazing! All hail the future queen. Thanks, now it's Cameron's turn. I really like black with what I'm wearing, but black seems so formal. But we look so good together, I'm gonna do it. This night was gonna be perfect. It better be perfect. I smell drama. The fireworks began as soon as we reached the dance. Everyone's having a good time. People are singing along. Everyone's dressed so conservative. Wow, look at them. Ha ah, ha, look at me! Whoa, look at Gloom and Cameron. Best dressed couple ever. Is Gloom wearing a Rosie Q original? She looks stunning. I'm so voting for her for prom queen. My dreams, my dreams are coming true. Hi everyone. Um, as your class president, I'd like to welcome you. I, I, I need to welcome everybody. I need to be like, hey, I own this place. Welcome you all to- Hey, who's ready to party? <laughs> Meet Christina King, wealthy, charming, and super problematic. As head of the prom committee, I thought I'd announce prom queen, you know, just off the gats. So please finish voting for me and head to the ballroom in 10 minutes. Oh, I, I mean, finish voting for whoever you want. And also, if you vote for me, everybody gets Friday off. What? That's not fair. Prom queens can't do that. Ugh, don't be dramatic, babe. I'm sure you'll be runner up. I mean, you look cute and all, but like, come on. Hot date, by the way. You really leveled up this year. Kidding, of course. Love ya. Uh, I guess she noticed my glow up too. She doesn't even seem at all threatened though. Frenemy alert. Hey, hey, snap out of it. Forget about her, okay? Tonight's about you and me. All the things you've never done before. Well, we do have 10 minutes to kill before the big announcement. Is it enough for us to get some uh, alone time? <gasps> this could be it. A first kiss. Let's go to uh, the rooftop garden or under the football stadium bleachers. Okay, so like the rooftop garden is very much something that I dreamed about when I was a good girl, but I'm trying to do, like I'm trying to make up for lost time, you know? I kind of want to go under the football stadium bleachers, beside the garbage can, and try to be bad for once. Oh, well, I've never been under there either. Good idea. <laughs> Why don't you get us some punch? I'll freshen up and meet you there. I need to blot, I'm so oily. Oh, 10 minutes, I don't know what to do. 10 minutes, ah, is this gonna happen for me? 600 seconds, I'm nervous. It's amazing how much life can change in the span of 10 minutes. Wait, what is Christina doing with Cameron? Hello, Cameron. I found out a little secret about you. In my case, those 10 minutes changed everything. That'll teach him, let's go! What, what was that? Hey, is anyone out there? Why did they lock you in here? It's coming from the supply closet. Do I open the closet? I have to. Hello? I'm nervous. Hello, is anyone in here? Wait, don't let that door close. No. No. Why didn't you tell me as I was walking in? Now we're gonna get stuck in here all night. I was about to say that door locks from the outside. Oh my God, no. It's you. You. Hello, Gloom. <laughs> Long time no see. And this was the moment it happened, when fate stepped in to turn my life upside down. That night, my life was forever changed by three boys. You've already met the first two. The third, ugh. He scares me! Why is his chest so hairy? He was about to turn my world inside out. Victor, what are you doing here? Not exactly the way I imagined us meeting up again, but alas, I can think of worse people to get caught in the closet with. Meet Victor King, AKA the one that got away, AKA the one every girl pined for. The guy that I liked so, so much, but could never crack. I stared at him every day throughout all of elementary school. All he ever cared about was creating music, hanging out with his own crowd and living on his own terms. But he was also Christina's older brother, which made him off limits. Because you know, we're friends, but we're also enemies. I was obsessed with him, but he never gave me the time of day, but he meant so much to me. One day he sent me a text telling me to meet him on the school rooftop, but he never showed. And my heart was broken and my confidence was broken. Christina said he got shipped to boarding school, but she never revealed why. That was two years Ago. You look absolutely stunning in that dress, by the way. Thanks. You've come a long way from sleepovers and milkshakes at my house. 
Oh, he still knows how to make me blush like crazy. I mean, I've made this bucket list and I don't necessarily have to do it with Cameron, but this guy let me down. He burned me. He killed my confidence for years. I'm gonna be coy. What's your deal? You just hide in closets now waiting to flash unsuspecting enemies? Where's your shirt? Only on Saturdays. Tell me, do you still plan out every detail of your life in the next 10 years? Uh, no, of course not. I, I, let me hide this to-do list. Really? Okay, fine, I do. So what are you doing here without a shirt on and trapped in a closet? I was in town to play a concert earlier today and Christina asked me to perform here tonight. Me and her haven't exactly been on speaking terms. I thought this would make things a little bit better. Okay, where are your clothes? Hello? I was changing in the locker room when I ran into some guys who still held an old grudge. Oh, oh no. Long story short, I got a few punches in, but they managed to lock me in here. What's your story? I'm supposed to be making out under the bleachers! I was supposed to meet someone! Like I was on my way! Someone is in your date? Uh, yeah, actually. Don't look at me like that. Well, okay then. Let's not keep the lucky guy waiting. The door isn't budging, so we gotta figure something else out. What should we do? Well, if the door isn't working, do you wanna try crawling through the vent in my new dress that I'm gonna get dust all over? I could crawl up there and let you out from the outside. You sure? I'm the only one who can fit up there and I'm not spending my prom night in here. No way, I have a to-do list. I need to go kiss somebody. Just give me a boost. You got it. So I climbed like a ninja through the ventilation system. Ew, 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 getting dust everywhere. Ew, there's spiders up here. I can't stand it. Nice job, Blue. I owe it all to the gymnastics my mom forced me to take when I was 10. Well, you better wash up, huh? Pretty filthy. Whoever you're meeting is probably expecting you too. Are you jealous? I can either ask him how long he's staying in town, tell him I've missed his jokes, or ask him if he's ever thought about me. I mean, it sucks because like you never fully get over your first love, do you? Ugh. Listen, I just need some closure. Did you ever think about me in the past year? Sure. We had some good times back in the day. Look, I'm actually leaving in the morning. My band's going on a summer tour that starts tomorrow. I see. So I guess this is goodbye. I wish I never saw you. You ruined my life. Until next time we're trapped in a closet together, huh? Won't see each other again. Take care. I hate you! My night was going to be so perfect and now my mind is all over the place. This could be my last chance to ask him why he left. I can't let him get away again. Victor! Listen, I need to know. What did you want to tell me two years ago? Why didn't you show up? I had my reasons. Are you really sure you want to know? Listen, I don't know if I'm ever going to see you again. I'm trying to be bad, but I'm a softie. I just... You need to tell me right now. You're right. I do owe you an explanation. So if you really want to know, I'll tell you everything. This is my chance to find out what he wanted to tell me and why he left, but... <sighs> if he tells me, I feel like I'm gonna be attached to him and I'm not gonna be able to have the night of my dreams. Ugh. We came for drama, we're here for drama. I wanna know why. I wanna know. What did you wanna tell me two years ago and why did you leave? The truth is, I wanted to meet up with you to ask you to prom. What? Back then, I had a crush on you and I decided to go for it. Well then why didn't you show? Christina found out and forbade me. We got into a huge fight. Then she went to my parents and revealed something she found hidden in my room. Uh, long story short, they shipped me off to boarding school before I could say goodbye. I don't understand. What did she reveal? Let's just say it was uh, something that would have landed me in some place a lot worse than boarding school. Illegal. Oh, well, how do you feel about me now? Look, it's been two years and you have a date waiting for you. You and I, our timing isn't exactly great. I'm glad we got to reconnect, Gloom. I've really missed you. Well, me too. Why did I have to know? Why did my curiosity get the best of me? Five minutes left to meet my date. Okay, <sighs> get your head together. Get your head in the game. You came here with Cameron. You need to focus on Cameron. Your big kiss, his glasses, his weird high, the way he talks. Oh, but uh, I can't stop thinking about it. Aisha, I know we only came here as friends tonight, but uh, well, I think you're really smart and funny and uh, cool looking. Cool looking, stupid Frank, who says that? Why are you in the girls' bathroom? Hello, Frank? Oh God, I'm in the girls' bathroom! This adorable spaz is somebody that I used to be friends with. Before I fell in with Christina and her crowd, I was friends with this guy. I used to have really amazing, genuine best friends. But then I had a glow up and I started hanging out with the popular kids. We grew up together though, did everything together. And I mean everything together before we grew apart. And I lost sight of what mattered most. I became everything I hated. Hey Gloom, fancy seeing you here. Uh, how much of that did you hear? Ma, just about everything. Oh, I'm suddenly feeling really queasy. I'm sweating, aren't I? Can you see my sweaty pits? Oh god, I never should have worn wool in spring. Listen, snap out of it. We grew up together. Just shut up and stop being nervous. No, I don't know what to do! Because on one hand, like, I have a bucket list and I need to meet Cameron and I keep thinking about someone else, but like, this is my friend who I grew up with. Oh, I don't know what to do. I only have five minutes. Terry, 
What would you do if you only had five minutes to meet me in the back to kiss me, but your childhood best friend needed help? Help with what? Asking a girl out. Nah. It's not, I know. You know what? No. I need... <laughs> I feel so bad, but... Okay, I'm gonna cover my eyes. I gotta go! I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh. Yeah. You're probably right. I guess we both have dates to get back to, huh? Well, I'm late for my kiss. I gotta go. By the time I washed up and was on my way, my mind was spinning with thoughts of Victor and Cameron. How could one chance encounter make me question everything? But sometimes fate intervenes. Uh Cameron? Christina? I ditched my childhood best friend for this! Oh, crap, all oh, gloom. Wait, uh, hey, uh, it's not what it looks like, all right? Sometimes you have to fall before you can rise. Oh, it happened so fast. I was looking for you and I ran into Christina and he kissed me. I guess he couldn't help himself. You really do deserve better, Gloom. Now, if you can leave, I need to finish up here. I can't believe this. I, I can't be here right now. And so I ran until I could breathe the air outside. Oh, at least it's nice on this rooftop. Gloom? Victor? Hey, what are you doing here? Victor, I, I can't. Leave me alone. What's wrong? Come on, you can tell me. Something happened. Something horrible. Easy there. Just breathe. It's gonna be okay. In my experience, talking about things makes you feel less horrible. So, uh, get talking. Aren't you about to perform your set? Let him wait. I'm exactly where I need to be. Oh, this guy is a much better friend to me than I was to my friend who needed help in the bathroom. I'm such a piece of human garbage. Now tell me what's wrong. Do I tell him everything or do I tell him that Christina hurt me? I don't really want him to direct his anger to Christina because even though Christina's my friend, like, me and Cameron had plans. We made this list together. He pretended he cared about me. I'm telling him everything. And so I told him. I told him every last detail. And it actually made me feel better. I'm sorry, Gloom. It looks like Christina hasn't changed at all. You didn't deserve this. Oh, I have no idea where to go from here. My night's ruined. Hey, one step at a time. That's a start. You want to know what I think you need right now? A time machine? A gun? <laughs> nah, I think you need to release some tension. Like this. Ah! See? Incredibly liberating. Now, release your tension. Uh, okay. Ah! Oh, so much for having the perfect prom night. Who needs perfect? Have you met me? Look, you've planned your whole life for the next 10 years. But one bad thing happens and you're thrown off course? All I'm trying to say is, sometimes things happen for a reason. And sometimes the best things in life are unpredictable and spontaneous. Well, you know what? Let's see where the night takes us. Part of my problem, I mean, I'm trying to let loose, I'm trying to change, I'm trying to be different, but I keep planning it all out. I keep doing it in such a methodical way, and it's just not getting me anywhere. Attention all students! We're ready to announce this year's prom queen! Oh my god. This is it. My dream. And here to announce the result is a celebrity alum, DJ Stinky Fish! It's Stinkfish. Uh, oh, oops. Hey y'all, glad to be back even though I never actually graduated. Uh, I see all the young ladies looking real fine out there. We're under 18, leave us alone! Mr. Stinkfish! And now with the most votes of any candidate, your prom queen is... I accept. I knew you all loved me. Not you! Your prom queen is Gloom Boom! What?! Everyone loves me! I can't believe it! Congratulations. Gloom Boom, please come to the stage with your date for your coronation! Oh, but I don't have a date. What's wrong? I I don't have a date anymore. So much for my dream coming true. Gloom Boom! Has anyone seen Gloom Boom? We got a boom! We got a one dollar, one dollar two! Who's bidding? Who's bidding? Something tells me she's not gonna be showing up anytime soon. Well, in that case, the rules say the title goes to the runner-up, aka me. You're not giving up that easy because I'm gonna be your date tonight. Really? This is your big moment. You earned it. So you and me are gonna walk out in front of the whole school and claim your crown. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to dance with you in front of everyone. Especially in front of Christina. And in front of that idiot Cameron. Come on, we need to hurry. Ah, let's go! Last call for gloom boom. Otherwise, I'm going to give the crown to this feisty girl who's breathing on my neck. Okay, you've given her long enough. Hurry up. It's time for you to call it. Like, come on, clean her up. Wrap it up. And we race against time together, hoping we weren't too late. Unless Gloom Boom comes to the stage in the next 60 seconds, I have to give our crown to runner-up Christina King. I'm here. Yeah. Oh, this is it. It's now or never. I want to do this with you and I get payback for all her bling. Okay, I can't breathe. I can't wait to live out every girl's dream. Dancing and kissing the hottest guy to ever go to the school. Last call, last call. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. Let's do this. Follow me. And by default, your new prom queen is... Stop. I'm here. Miss Boom, what do you have to say for yourself? I have to say that... Arrest that idiot. Why would I say that? 
I'm here for my crown. Fantastic. Victor, what are you doing with her? Consider me her royal escort. At your service. Well, you're too late. The crown's already mine. No, it's not. Miss King, please leave the stage. Well, I demand a recount. I have an idea. Hey, everyone. Throw it up if you want Christina as prom queen. I don't see anything. Now throw it up if you want gloom boom. I mean, I'm probably everybody except the guy I didn't help in the bathroom. <gasps> People like me. Well, hey, I think that settles it. It certainly does, even though it was already settled a few minutes ago. Haha, <laughs> Christina, get out of my way. Boom. One thing off the bucket list. Oh, and the guy left in the bathroom is clapping too. I'm gonna drop it and whip it good. I'm gonna be opposite of what I am. I say, oh, what, what the hell is this? I say poop. Oh, I entered inappropriate content. Okay, I say poop. And my second chance is farts. Poop! Farts! <laughs> poop! Farts! Now let's dance! Poop! <laughs> yes, I'm the new prom queen. I'm doing a great job. As the ceremony ended, I started to feel truly hopeful. Get out of here, Cameron, I hate you. So, is this everything you dreamed it would be? Well, apart by getting cheated on by my best friend, it's, <sighs> I guess sometimes things happen for a reason. It's like you said. Ah, oh, you're finally learning. I'm curious, what was your first thought when you saw me again? I felt nervous, honestly. I'm not used to being trapped in a closet with a guy without a shirt on. Well, there's a first time for everything. I never thought I'd see you again. The way we left things, I'm still not sure how I feel. Hey, fair enough. But now that we're here, having the prom that we missed out on, what do you want to do next? I want to seize the moment and kiss you in front of all these people. In front of all these people? I mean, okay, I was initially going for the bleachers underneath the football stadium, but I would say that this is pretty good. What are you waiting for? Ah, we're doing it! Take that, Christina! Revenge is sweet. So, what now? I have a surprise in mind if you're willing to go for a little drive. I'm so down for that. Meet me outside in 10. Girl, am I gonna, you know, am I gonna do the whole list tonight? Might as well get one more dance in real quick while I'm waiting for the car. I wonder what kind of surprise Victor has in mind. Gloom? What? Calm down, Gloom. Let's talk about this like adults. You're projecting onto me. I'm so mad though. Do I accuse her of treason? Do I release my rage? Do I gloat over her respectfully? You know what? I've always done the right thing. I'm releasing my rage, I'm ruining her life. Calm down? You just stuck your tongue down my date's throat. Consider it a favor. Now you know where you stand, below me. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I just wanna punch your face right now. Whoa, I think Gloom's about to throw down. Moment ruined? Oh, I ruined his moment twice in a row. Watch your temper, Gloom. You wouldn't wanna ruin that perfect record of yours. I don't care. I'm throwing a drink at her. You grab a drink from a passing student and throw it at her. You maniac! This dress is $3,000! And now it's a $3,000 dish rag. Oh, snap. You were a nobody before I took you under my wing. You know that, right? You keep talking about a glow up, but it would have been nothing if I didn't become your friend. And now you're gonna be radioactive. Nobody's gonna like you. Hey, Gloom, let's get out of here. Don't lower yourself to her level. My level? Yeah, ground floor trashiness. In other words, she just set me up to deliver the perfect insult. I'm gonna, you know what? No, I'm not gonna try to be the better person. I'm ruining everything tonight. Most devastating insult ever, let's go. You basic. Oh, that's it? That's, that's the insult? That was my big, okay. I remember the crowd erupting into a tsunami of laughter. How dare she call me basic? The most devastating insult in history, perfectly timed and delivered like a laser guided missile to the heart of Christina's ego. Rip Christina King, time of death, half past dead. Well, if it isn't Gloom's old friends. Hey, leave him out of this. Sorry, babe. They're casualties of war now. What was that story you told me about them? No, 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 please, please, please don't. Don't, 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 please, Christina. I thought we were friends. You can't share a friend's secret even if you hate each other after. It's, it's against the rules, girl. Remember that really humiliating story you made me promise not to tell under the threat of death? What's she talking about? Christina, please, don't. Oh, <laughs> I remember now. Where the heck is she running off to? Look, she's up on stage. Hey everyone, let's all toast again to our wonderful class president, Gloom. But what roast would be complete without a fun story about Gloom and her old friends, Frank and Aisha? So Gloom once told me <laughs> they used to write erotic vampire fan fiction. What kind of a loser does that? The laughter in the room was deafening as my worst nightmare unfolded. They found out about our severely inappropriate vampire fiction. You told her that? That was supposed to be our secret, man. Now everybody knows our, our thing. Allow me to read a passage from Bloodlust to Bite Harder. 
It's one thing for her to hurt me, but Frank and Aisha don't deserve this. And then the vampire twins unbuckled her corset with their fangs and reached for their heaving mounting. Hey, stop it, please. Stop? I'm just getting to the good part. Something tells me this story is a big metaphor for you never being- Stop it! Don't make fun of me for my lack of experience. Don't make fun of my friends. That's when it happened. The single most consequential reaction of my life. Do I punch her or deliver another deadly insult? You know what? Ladies, play nice. BAM! Ow! Oh crap, I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. You psycho! Now I need a nose job. What? I said I was sorry. Well, Pam, I don't accept your apology. Bang! Ouch! Oh! Oh! And by the way, your writing's super wordy and cliche, and those metaphors subpar. I was so angry what happened that I was just a rage-filled blur. Young lady, you need to stop right. Oh! I punched the principal in the face. I punched the principal in the face. Oh my goodness, Principal Chase, are you okay? I think you broke my tooth. What should I do? I don't, I'm gonna get expelled. My whole life's ruined. Do I accept my punishment? Do I run away? I, I can't think, I'm running away. Freeze, what was that? My teeth. Hey guys, I know you're all freaking out, but DJ here, something's wrong with my rig. The whole console's short circuiting and uh, it's gonna blow, so. What? <coughs> Oh God, the smoke's gonna trigger the- No, my dress, my makeup, the sprinkler system. No, please, I can't run. I got kicked in the old Gulliver. Wow, she really took this spontaneous thing to heart. You made it. That took you a little longer than I expected, but you have a black eye, so. <laughs> Barely, the cop's right on my heels. Hey, then we need to get out of here. Gloom, you and me aren't done. Oh my god, this is ridiculously insane. I don't know what to do with all this drama. Hey, then let's seize the moment and do something we'll never forget. What do you mean? Look, prom's already blown up. The entire school just burned down. The night's still young and we can make it even crazier. Exactly. Time to face the music gloom. You're absolutely right. How about at your dad's mansion? What? A giant after party rager at your house with all these people. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, that's a great idea. And I could think of a few things we could do together in our pool. Oh boy, I'm in. I'm so in. We could strip away our inhibitions. We could love each other all night. We could dance the night away and go wild. Yeah. We could make the night unforgettable. No way. Hey, hello, snap out of it. No way. My house would get trashed and my parents would kill me. Well, I could scream it out and all these people would invade your house right now. I can't stop thinking about you in that swimsuit. I could fulfill my wildest fantasies and drive Christina crazy. Right after punching her in the face, I'm throwing a party at her house. Have I gone too far? Who cares? Hey everyone, after party in Christine King's mansion. Oh yeah. No, absolutely not. Follow us guys. Come on guys, let's go. Christina's house and I'm sure we can steal everything in her room. And so we escaped to start the most epic after party, as did half the prom. But who was watching me? Everyone go home this instant! You there, don't even think about puking on my Persian rug! This is horrible! No! But we were having the greatest time. Okay, this definitely qualifies as epic, no doubt. Question is, where does this fall in your 10 year plan? Oh God, I don't know, somewhere between one of the greatest nights in my life and the night my life probably fell off the rails? which is exactly why you have to laugh at the absurdity of it. He literally punched a principal and made it rain. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, that is pretty absurd. Look, we'll deal with the consequences later. For now, let's just have some fun. So tell me, how does it feel to be finally cut free? It feels like I wanna have my first kiss. I wanna kiss you. Then what are you waiting for? Yeah! Oh wait, we already kissed at prom. It's just such a blur because I was so mad. I'm feeling a little overdressed right now, if you know what I mean. How about we dress down and jump in the pool? After you? I mean, he, I wouldn't choose those trunks, but it's all good. Looking hot. Is that the one you want to wear? I can do yellow. I can do red hot. Mm, beach green? Nah. Let's go with yellow. Great choice. Part of me wants to stay in here with you all night. Well, I mean, <laughs> let's, um stay here and see where the night takes us. Ooh, okay. I mean, I know that it's on my to-do list. I know that I want to do it, but like, I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's go to the pool first. Let's do it. Is that my swimming suit? No way you two are getting busy in my bedroom. I don't know what to do other than run away. I'm running away. Hey, look behind you. It's a distraction. 
I could have just said, hey, look behind you, but instead I said, it's a distraction. <laughs> I'm not good at this, okay? I'm new. As we got closer, I wish the night would never end. Do you really have to leave town? It feels like we're just getting to know each other again. It's not just the tour though. It's my family. Too much has happened between me and them. You saw what Christine is capable of. What if I can convince you to stay between now and dawn? Honestly, every minute we're together makes me want to stay. What should I do? Skinny do? We're doing it. Let's make every minute count. Woohoo! And that was how I crushed my bucket list. So we kept going with me hoping the night would never end until everyone run. The cops are here. We got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Oh. I don't know why everyone else is running there looking for me! Everyone freeze! Hey, beautiful. You didn't think you could run from me forever, did you? Oh, jeez. And so, my night ended with the perfect perp walk and the entire party chanting my name. Yeah! Okay, so maybe that last victory dance was a little excessive because... Somebody broke into the principal's office tonight and stole all the funds for your senior trip. What? That's terrible. I thought you guys were looking for me. Hey, the principal didn't rat on me. He's actually a good guy. And his money got stolen. As class president, you're the only one who had access to that safe. This can't be happening. Can I have a lawyer? Please? I'm not saying another word until I get a lawyer. Fair enough. You need a good one, though. Until that 50,000 turns up, your life is gonna get very difficult. What? As the year ended, I was the most infamous high school senior in the country. DJ Stinkfish's dubstep remix of The Principal Punch was one of the top 10 most viewed videos of the year. With the senior trip money gone, the only place the class could afford was the old timey Colonel settlement. And that's how we churn butter. Anyone wanna try? No. Well, have fun at Western. Um, yeah, I will. Keep in touch, okay? Sure wish Gloom was a good friend. And because of me, Frank and Aisha lost their moment to be more than friends. No! So here I am, infamous and barred from graduation. If only I could relive that night to make things right. And that's when it happened. Wake up! Ah, what are you doing? Sleeping through my never-ending self-pity, what do you think? What's your problem? My problem is tonight's your prom and you're still in your pajamas. Prom? What prom? Look outside and see for yourself, sweetie. What? Hey Gloom, it's me, Cameron. You ready to go? Cameron? What in the holy heck balls is going on? <laughs> New message from unknown number. Stop freaking out. This is really happening. You just traveled back in time. What? Who are you? Your very own spirit guide from the powers that be. You have until midnight to change the past, fix your future, find your true love, and catch that idiot who framed you and reunite your friends. Now get dressed and get your head in the game. Do a better job this time. What in the? I get to fix my mistakes? What? Well, you guys, that was prom night. Let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd like me to continue it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love your comments and your support for episode. I'm gonna start playing it a little bit more just because I have so much fun with it. And I'm very grateful to you guys for convincing me to keep doing it. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.